Hi guys, it's Nicole, and today I am sharing my first project using the September 2021 Flavors of the Month kit from the Scrap Room. Here you can see the entire kit for September, then we've got the embellishment add-on and the pattern paper add-on. Now, I tend to stick close to just the main kit because I like to, in a sense, be able to give you guys kind of like an accurate representation of if you only subscribe to the main kit, what can you kind of come up with with just the materials in the main kit? And I thought I was going to be able to start this voiceover and not have somebody scratching at the window, but if you hear weird noises in the background, I'm sorry. I'm not willing to get into a fight with her today to get her out of the room. So she's here. Um, just like every other video with these kits, I like to leave this part in real time. This is just me showing you what is in the kit. So this is the Fancy Pants Lake Life kit. Uh, I got two sheets of fig swirl cardstock, which was kind of like a creamy color, and then the three pattern papers. And then as far as the embellishments, I got, I guess it's one fourth of the wood pieces and one fourth of the ephemera. So this is the part that kind of varies kit to kit. And personally, my favorite part as far as like going and looking in the gallery, because I will comb through people's layouts and be like, oh, like I already looked in the gallery because the design team, you know, we, we post our stuff in a separate Facebook group so that the owner can do what she needs to do with all the images and stuff. I go through and look at the pictures after I've done my layouts. I, I try not to look until I've done mine because I don't want to be like influenced with their amazing work and have it like I, I don't want to accidentally scrap lift somebody, I guess. So I chose to pair this with the Freaky Fast formula for this month. So just like every other time, I have commitment issues with cutting my pattern paper until I have a game plan. So I use just solid color cardstock and I kind of keep like every time I use the formula, I put it all back in like the same area. So like the light blue, the green and the light purple were already in there. I pulled those out and was able to reuse the sizes. And I kind of thought I was going to go with something like this. And then I ended up tucking that little four and a half by six and a half. And it ended up working out perfectly behind the collage that I went with. And I was super excited about that. Because for some reason, the formula kind of gives me a little bit of like nervous anxiety type thing. Because it's not a normal starting point in my personal style. Um, I tend to like the end result, so I kind of feel like I need to just get over it. <laughs> I need to just kind of, um, lean into the process and know that at the end, I'm going to have an awesome layout. Like when you're starting out with good supplies, when you're starting out with a good inspiration piece, it's kind of hard not to end up with a good layout. Now I do have to tell you, I... This month was actually able to meet up with the owner in person because I'm local to her and pick up my kit in person. And I sat down at the scrapbook store and was like looking through everything. And when I saw this kit, I started sweating because I was like, oh no, I don't have anything that has to do with lakes, rivers, nothing like that. The few times we've gone camping has been in the middle of dirt in an RV or we stayed in a cabin or I've already scrapbooked it. The other side to that is I'm like a concrete bottom chlorine pool kind of water person. If you asked me to get into a lake, I would die. It, it's not, it's not for me. <laughs> too many, too many true crime podcasts, too many. Um, I think it's the fact that I can't see, I can't see the bottom. So I don't like lakes, I don't like rivers. I like looking at them from the side but I'm not, not about to get in there. So we don't really do stuff like that. So I'm looking at this collection. I'm like, man, it's so cute for those topics. What am I going to do? And for me, the, the paper's not that big of an issue because you've got this awesome wood grain. You've got a really pretty plaid. 
The third sheet, you could have gone either side, whether the pine cones or the floral, that kind of thing. So typically when I have that reaction of I look at the kit and I think, oh no, what am I going to do? I don't celebrate this holiday or I don't have this theme going on in my photos. So typically what I will do is when I'm looking at the embellishments, I kind of dump them all out, kind of push the ones to the side that are theme specific that won't work for me. And I look at everything else. And thankfully, Rochelle sent me this little duck die cut because I was like, oh, wait, pretty sure I have pictures that I have not gotten to yet of taking my kids to go feed the ducks at a specific park. It took me two hours to find these photos because I feel like as a parent, you kind of tend to file your memories and where those photos are stored. Like all my photos are stored by year and by month. And then I kind of have to think, okay, what year do I think we went? What time period? Well, I was looking in the wrong time period because I thought I had both kids with me. No, I went during the time when my son was in preschool and I only had one kid with me and we went and met up with our playgroup. So once I found the photos, I was like, okay, we're good. So I tend to do photo collages, especially if the photos aren't great. Um, I think I only really had one photo where she had turned around and looked at me. Um, she enjoyed feeding the ducks, but she did not like it when they got out of the water and were like approaching the kids because they wanted more snacks. And this was the part of the layout where I was like, okay, I have, I think I figured out where everything is. I took a picture of it just because nothing's glued down at this point. And I'm trying to come up with a title. I wanted something involving ducks. And I sent a message to my group chat. And one of my good friends came back and said, why don't you just do duck, duck, goose? And I read it a couple times and I'm like, what is she talking about? It's ducks. Like what, what do geese have to do with this? And then I looked, I looked a little closer at the pictures and wrote her back. And I said, are those geese in the background? And she said, yes. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Which I felt dumb, but I just didn't occur to me that the two species were living together in this dirty pond. Like, I think I was just kind of tunnel vision of their ducks. We went to go feed the ducks. Didn't occur to me like that, that animal right next to the letter E is a goose. So science lesson of the day. <laughs> so we had a pretty good laugh about that. But in the end, I absolutely love the title. And I've told you guys before, if you have like scrapbooking friends or even people online, if you're in different Facebook groups, like I will always go to them and be like, hey, I need title help or hey, I'm looking at these two color options, like help me out. Because sometimes it's it's literally just I need somebody to make the decision for me because of I'm in like a creative like funk. And I do have to tell you guys, like I my mojo is like back. I absolutely loved working on my kits this month. Sometimes I get a little like, oh, I don't know if my layouts are good enough. Like, I don't know, like comparing them to the design team. And then I have to remind myself that I am on the design team to represent something different. If we all had the same style, all the inspiration pieces would look the same. So I have to remind myself that I'm kind of here representing my style. So this is my completed layout and some detail shots, breakdown of the formula for those that are interested. Um, if you have not joined the Facebook group, I would encourage you to join the Facebook group to play along with the challenges. There's usually a prize available every month for different sketches, formulas, using your kit, kill kits, card challenges, all kinds of things. I'll post a link down in the description box below and I will catch you guys later. Bye!